All right, Assetto Corsa. It's a racing simulator or driving simulator. Some will argue between those two definitions. I think it sits nicely on the street corner with your local drug dealer as a gateway drug. Once you get into this, you can expect your wallet will bleed and it will bleed profusely. I've dropped more than 500 quid on peripherals helping to amp up the experience between a, a butt kicker, um, a steering wheel, along with shifter and pedals. Uh, I run a G27, which is one of the older, no longer available models, but you can get, for instance, a G920 equivalent to that. But these um, peripherals plus the VR headset, uh, the game is just fantastic. Uh, the menu system is still fully 2D up to the point that you jump into the actual game and it's loaded, which I can honestly forgive. And I've been playing a set of courses since 2014 when I first got into VR. Played it with the DK2 headset, played it with the Vive, and I've, I've played it with the Rift. Um, I'm currently playing it with the Rift and it's fantastic and we have some hardcore servers that we play on with friends, and I have to say that I really haven't played the single player game very much. Um, in fact, my draw to these kinds of titles is always social. So I've taken loads of fun out of uh, Assetto Corsa through multiplayer. But then you notice that there are things like procedural rally league, uh, race department where you can get mod tracks, mod cars, the content just goes on. So if you really have a lot of money to spare and you want the best VR sim racer out there, um, which has some arcadey elements to it, then definitely a set of course says your game.